Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There's something in peace out to the rest of you. Black heart, black mind, black in again. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Let me hook y'all up right quick. Put y'all up on a little bit of game. Or detail of the game we can see but overlook. Or rather, the detail of the game we can see but the importance of which we tend to underestimate. Um, one lady was quite cooperative on Kevin Samuel's show. The one living in Ohio, uh, 23, about to graduate college, realizing that she was going to have to get busy. Um, okay, let's take my job, teaching English as a second language. I stopped um, working as hard to make English as easy for certain classes of Arabs here mainly Bedouins, done with that. I don't do that. And uh, I have some who's, um, some of them who's either their mother or their father was Saudi. Now, if their father is Saudi, then they're Saudi, but they're living here across the border with me because their cousins are still locals of this country. If their mothers were Saudi, um, they're still living here, but their citizenship is also here. Now, I'm going to say this about, uh, uh, yeah, one thing I'm going to go ahead and say about these cats is when it comes to the Bedouin that, that act like Bedouins, not the ones, not just everybody whose grandparents were Bedouins, but when it comes to the ones who act like better ones to this day. It's funny because they're the ones who love to camp out in the desert and hold on to the customs and the traditions. Unfortunately, that comes with a negative attitude towards education. It's free, but they don't really value true learning that much. So memes and misconceptions become their library. Does that sound familiar? Well, there's a way that they speak their language that you can't really understand. And it's, it's not wrong when they use this with each other. It's their business. It's their language. It's their nationality. They can form a dialect specific to their nationality like anybody else can. The problem is when they turn to you and you're not from there and they use their dialect with you like you're supposed to just understand it. But then it gets worse. You may say, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't understand this particular word. And then they'll turn around and repeat the noun <laughs> twice <laughs> like you're going to understand it magically because they said it now a total of three times. Uh, that's that's a, a level of stupidity. Um. You can't teach a language by doing that. You, you can't teach a language by using a word someone doesn't know in that language and then just repeating it because they tell you they don't understand it. That, fuck, I don't understand it. I'm not going to grasp magically the concept you have in your head because you repeat the word, dumbass. You're going to have to either translate it into my language or you're going to have to use another word synonymous with the same meaning that I have understood or you're going to have to show an image. You can't just repeat a word and think I'm going to somehow begin to understand it because you repeated it. And I can't do that either. When I tell someone something in English and the student says, well, I didn't understand this part. I have to find another way to show them or translate. That's it. They will never understand it correctly if I don't. It comes with being a teacher. I understand that. I'm prepared for that. I don't blame them for that. That's how they learn. I have to know how they learn so I can teach them. But what I find is many of them don't think about how people learn. So they're terrible teachers, even when that's their profession. I'm mentioning this for a reason. I've talked about this before, and I mentioned this for a reason. A lot of the people here don't know how to spell things in their own language. So consequently, um, they may take the word car and misspell it. Two dots makes a difference. So instead of saying car, they may turn around and say his vehicle or take the name Samir, which is a man's name, the feminine form. And it, it, it is a name is Samira. They'll turn around and they'll misspell Samira, which the way they spell it means his Samir. 
And then I have to say, okay, who's Samir are you talking about? Because they, these dumb behinds are literate in their own language and they, they think it's okay. They are perfectly fine. Just like, you know, the uneducated Dominicans are perfectly fine with mistyping in Spanish and the Google translate. And then you can't understand a translation and they can't pronounce it correctly because they're Dominican and they don't pronounce S's to save their lives. If you put a gun to their head, it's the same thing here. So I have to sit up and say, okay, um, you're just not going to be able to learn English because you don't speak Arabic correctly. How am I going to teach you English correctly? You won't grasp it. It's the same thing uh, when I am listening to some of these ladies on Kevin Samuels. You have some ladies here, plenty on there, who can't say certain things in English correctly. Okay, there you go. They can't say certain things correctly. What does that tell you? Now, as a man, you have every right to sit up and say, okay, she's illiterate. She's inarticulate. It's not, this goes beyond AAVE. This goes into just outright changing the meanings of things that can confuse certain things. We're done. We're done. We're done. Gentlemen, the language and the use of language is proof and evidence of the fact that we men have made it too further mucking dot gam easy on them while they've been too difficult on us. This is why I say, gentlemen, don't let anyone tell you, well, it's men and women. Again, the only thing we've done wrong is be too easy with the things they've done wrong are far more in scope and in severity and frequency and everything else you can use to measure how bad something is. They will not bring the proper pronunciation to the table, even that. Now, if you bring it to the table, you're a geek, and if you don't bring it to the table, you're dumb. They have to have something to criticize you for, and this is one of the reasons why they don't want straight-laced nice guys, except to bear burdens. That's the other thing you have to understand. They don't want straight-laced nice guys except to bear burdens, partially because they don't have anything they can say bad about them. As BGS said, they need to have some kind of control and they need to be able to blame someone. Now, they want to control a scenario and still blame somebody else. And that is what children insist on and demand. Well, we, I guess we would all like that because we're human, but they look for it, demand it, insist on it, and expect it. And this is where the difference comes in. This is why I say stop giving children a chance. And a lot of them are still children. And most of us are not pedophiles. The problem is not that we are physically out here trying to do unspeakable things to people that are underage and prepubescent. That's not the issue with us, despite what stupid sly would say, what is satanic behind. Now, I'm sorry, Nagmiza, but that's one guy I'm going to call a nigger for real. Worshiping the devil, but I've, I've already covered that and how bad that gets. But um, I'm a... Uh, what I would say is that psychologically men throughout the West have been conditioned. And even in the East, where I live here, it's the same thing. They'll sit up and say, are you making a man's promise or a woman's promise? That's what they'll say to each other. And you know which one they mean is an actual promise. They'll say here, you can write a woman's promises in water. Now, some people interpret that here to mean that she's going to forget because the word nisa means women. It also is related to the word nisyan or insa, which means forget. If I say nasaitu, that means I forgot. Or in a nasath, that means she forgot. So if I say anisa yansana, anisa is the women, yansana means they forget. The two words are related. So some people interpret that to simply mean they'll forget the promises. It's not malice. But others interpret that to mean they're just not going to care about their promises. I think it's a combination of the two. Whatever the case is, the point I'm making is that even here, there's that to a certain extent. They get to be mentally inferior, and yet we're supposed to lay down with them. 
do you see? So this conditioning exists to a certain extent, even in, uh, even outside of the West. In the West, you've really been conditioned to tolerate this stuff. And they can't even bring the proper pronunciation of certain words to the table. And I don't, even according to AAVE, they couldn't do it. Yet they're going to always scrutinize black men by the way you talk. You got to have a fine mouthpiece and they can't even say specific. Gentlemen, stay one-sided in this blame. For that reason alone. Thanks for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out, assalamu alaikum. Black heterosexual, non-select male power just because they don't like it. And black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day.